Welcome to Support This TV, and damn it, boy, shout out to all the supporters out there. I really appreciate y'all. Now, I did a video earlier talking about Jeezy, talking about him getting married, talking about his sports agency, talking about him releasing this album right here that we about to talk about. Now, this album only got seven songs on it. I don't really consider the album, but, you know, it is what it is. It's a quick seven songs. All seven songs are banging. Meaning, literally, they will bang your your speakers in your car. You can be riding factory. You can have some custom stuff. It gonna have your car rattling. Play popping and ride through the Walmart parking lot. You gonna be popping. You understand know me? Now, my favorite song on here is by the Bank. Nobody is featured on this album. It's just Jeezy. You know, Shorty Red did every track on it, so it's a collaboration with Shorty Red, which is also a great thing. They go all the way back. Now, 2020 Pirates Vision. Now, the way Jeezy released this thing, he just put it out there. You know, he ain't even put up a gang of posts on his IG account. He ain't even do a whole lot of tweeting about it. Shorty Red didn't either. You know, they just put up a post here and there. So, I don't think he really cared about the commercial success of this album. I think it's more of just giving something out to his fans. Giving something out to his people. I don't think he was trying to reach new fans with this. And with this being said, I seen people out there like, you know, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say his name. But you know what I'm saying? I seen this guy talking junk about it, saying don't nobody care about it, nobody care. And I'm like, man, you missed the whole point of why he released this thing, man. I think he released this thing because he's independent again like he was way back when he first started. That was one. And two, him and Shorty Red had been cooking up something he wanted to give it to his fans. You know, the commercial success about this thing is really not the end game. The end game is if my fans listen to it or not, then my fans enjoy it. You understand what I'm saying? Then he ain't got a lot of overhead. Him and Shorty Red did it. He put it out independent. Hell, he could sell 10,000 copies and make good money off this thing. You understand me? So, you know, people, people, people going to say what they going to say. You understand? But I like it. I thought it was dope. You know, he put it out through STEM. STEM is a a, um, a company that anybody can use. I know some of y'all guys out there who make music. And got your stuff online. You probably use TuneCore or something, something of that nature. You can also use Skim that would Jeezy use. You know, it will distribute your music out there through YouTube and all of those stuff. Um, to um, iTunes and all that stuff. So, Skim is just like another TuneCore. I didn't use it, but I looked it up and saw it. You know, so good to know Jeezy using the same kind of pro. Jeezy using the same kind of apps and companies that y'all can use. But let me know how y'all feel about this, man. 2020 Pirates Vision. You know, I've been jamming it, man, for the last week and a half, man. But let me know how y'all feel about it. I am, a.k.a. Bands. This is Support This TV. Like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm out. Peace.